the Atlantic hurricane season beginning today. In fact, it's already beginning right now. And there are several things that could possibly develop. Here are some things that you should do to keep your chicken safe ahead of a storm. So if you notice you're in the cone, you can do this right now. So the first one I would do is I would check the size of the storm. So if it looks like it's gonna be a really powerful storm, then there are most likely mandatory evacuations already in place. And I'll show you an example in a minute, but if you notice, it's gonna be something like a 70 mile per hour tropical storm or a low end hurricane, like 70, 65, 70, 70 mi 75 miles per hour. Here's what to do. So firstly, check your chicken coop for any, you know, stuff. Any like exploits that are, something could get into your coop. So if say like, there's an automatic coop door, easy way, just go down here and click, if you have this automatic coop door, click K1 and this will close. And you also wanna go in here, right here, and then you wanna turn off the power. So that way the chickens don't go outside. And if it looks like the winds are gonna be blowing at the coop to the point where it might fall over or a tree might hit it, then what you might want to do is you might want to move your chickens to your home. Fortunately, there's an easy way to set up a few brooders in your home if you don't already. Just put some shavings in there and keep them in there for a day or so. Now, if there are no mandatory evacuations, but they're saying to me something like 115 miles per hour, that's a category three. You know, you need to know the category scale. Category one is 75 to 75 to 94, and then 75 to 93 or 94. And category two is 94, 94 to 110. Category three, did I say category four? All right, um, category two, 94 to 110. Category 311 to 129. Category four, 130 to 156. And then category five is 157 or greater. Now you gotta remember that because, well, you know, if there's gonna be something like a category two with the ones of 105 miles per hour, Chances are you don't want to stick around for that because 105 miles per hour is enough to take the roof right off of your home. No matter how well constructed it is, and I found an egg. But still, so you want to make sure you know the size of the storm and how powerful it is. If it's going to be something like a category four, it could rip your whole home to shreds. And if your home is going to get ripped to shreds, chances are your chicken coop is too. Unless it's like the most secure chicken coop from all threats like wind too, chances are if there's no mandatory evacuations, head to your basement. If there is mandatory evacuations, you might want to heed them immediately. Mandatory, it is required. So, you might think that you can only take yourself to another area, not so. All you need to do is get a dog kennel or something big to put in one of your cars, put it in there and provide a day's worth of water and food for your chickens. If you have any special needs chickens, separate them, so that way you can provide them their special needs. And if you're on and if your chicken is on some sort of medication, then you may want to keep them separate so that way their eggs don't get mixed in with the others. Unless they are a really rare breed of chicken that is separate from the others, it doesn't even have to be rare. You could have one Easter egg or that's sick, then you can easily tell it out, but there was others, like the Wyandots, they're so like identical to other eggs because they're all brown, chances are you're probably not gonna know the difference. So that's why you might want to keep them separate in a smaller cage. A simple cat carrier was enough to was enough to bring sprinkles to work and back. So you can probably put a special needs chicken in a cat carrier. I gotta remember, wind isn't the only threat from hurricanes. Rain is also a big threat. And you know, flooding is terrible. If you wade through flood waters, chances are you're gonna get sick or something like that. Even if you don't get sick, flood waters are incredibly dangerous. And so that's why you might wanna take extra precaution with your chickens. So if you notice there's flood water in your chicken yard, Make sure that your chicken coop is secured down to the ground so that way it doesn't float away. And you don't want to let them out until the water recedes. For ducks, however, if the water's not contaminated, that's all fine for them. As long as the flood water does not reach door level. If it does reach door level, don't let them out. So that's usually like four or five inches off the ground. So it all depends on where your door level is and what your comfort level is if you want to let them out during the flood. And finally, for their food, this is the most important part. You're going to want to put it in their chicken coop. So what you're going to want to do is you want to take the chicken coop feeder, you're going to put it in here, and you're going to want to put water in there. And if, you're, if there's no power and it's extremely hot out, you might want to open up the windows. 
However, if you want to keep them open at night, there is a really easy way to do this. So as you can see in this window, there is uh, some sort of ceiling. This is because if you go to the normal screen, which is right here, chances are raccoons going to be able to pry right through that thing. So that's why you always want to make sure this is installed ahead of every season. So if it gets extremely hot, which since most storms happen between July and October, chances are it's probably going to be 80 to 90 degrees out. You want to make sure this is installed properly. So as you see, screws to keep it down, this to keep it up here. And now even the strongest of predators won't be able to get into this chicken coop. Not even me. And that about wraps it up for this video. Be sure to remember that everything could be toxic, even just their normal grass. Because if the water leaves behind mud that contains toxic chemicals, then chances are that like this full grass will be contaminated. So you always want to make sure that your chickens are safe. And if so, move them to a new area to help defend them. Fortunately, you might want to have an automatic coop door for that, which we do have right here, but our coop door is flat. But our coop tire is flat, so we can't move them at the moment. Just remember, people are different with their chicken coops. And if you want to know how to build a, pro a chicken coop properly, check the video out in the end screen.